Hey everyone, Anthony here. Uh, today, very excited. Uh, I just got my new guitar picks from Stone Age Guitar Products. Now, I've never played Stone picks before. Um, I've always been a big fan of the Dunlop Tortex Jazz and uh, recently tried out this uh, Stealth pick here, which I'll be showing you a close up of that. And that's been a lot of fun, but never tried out these uh, Stone Age picks. So I got two of them, different widths. Um, I don't know the widths off the top of my head or the thickness, I mean. Uh, but playing with them for a few minutes, I have noticed some big differences. So uh, check this out. Okay, for this part of the review, I'm going to be playing just some heavy, genty style riffs. And I'm going to be using four different picks. I'm going to be using the Stealth Pick, the Dunlop Tortex Jazz, as well as the two Stone Age guitar picks that I got. So let's start off with the uh, Stealth Pick. I've got, uh, for sound, I'm playing my Wall Raven here, which I absolutely love, eight string. Going straight into my computer here using the uh, Andy James tonality for the uh, amp sims, the speaker sims and the power amp. And for the dirt, I'm going to be using the Gentonic pedal. So if you're curious what I'm using, there you go. All right.
So that was a lot of fun. I had a great time experimenting between the four different picks. Um, each has its strengths and weaknesses. Can I pick a favorite? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I can. I think it really depends on what I need at the time, what sound I'm hearing, and what pick will help me get there. I will say, however, that the Stone Age picks are really, really great for heavy rhythm playing. Um, if you're into heavy rhythms, especially like the gent style, these picks are really good for that. They change the tone to my ears and they also bounce across the heavy strings a lot easier than the jazz and the stealth. Now the brown pick here is uh, 3.25 millimeters and the green one is 3.5 millimeters uh, and they're made out of agate. Uh, they feel very smooth, they're comfortable in the hand. Of course, they're a lot thicker than I'm used to, uh, but once you get used to that, it's, it's not too bad. So here's my quick summary. For lead playing, I'll probably stick more with the stealth and the jazz. They tend to, you know, bite a little bit better into the higher strings. They don't create the overtones that I'm going to go over in a second that I get with the Stone Age. However, for heavy rhythms, as I said before, the Stone Age picks definitely seem to be the better pick. <laughs> no pun intended. They definitely create a different kind of tone and they just sound really good. They do create an overtone that I've noticed, a chirpy sound when I'm playing on the higher strings. I'm not sure if you heard that in the uh, demos. So that is that. Uh, I really had a great time uh, experimenting with these. Now, here, here's one thing you might wanna think about. The Stone Age picks come at a price. Uh, I got my jazz picks, a pack of them, a whole pack of, God, like 50 of them for maybe 20 bucks or something like that. I got the stealth pick. I got three of them for $5. The Stone Age are $40 each. That's, experiment. That's uh, expensive, <laughs> an expensive experiment. But if you're looking for something new, something very high quality and unique, I definitely recommend them. So... I will be using these in my sessions. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. It was a long one. Thanks for coming along with me on this ride. Have a great day.